Pulse School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Saskatchewan Pulse Growers and BASF. Welcome to Real Agriculture's Pulse School series. I'm Kara Oosterhaus. It's beginning to be that time of the year where you're taking your peas off the field and you're looking at the sample that's coming into the combine. In this episode, I talked to Wes Reed, who is the purchasing manager with WA Grain in Innisfail, Alberta. Wes talks about bleaching on your peas, what exactly it looks like, what sort of discounts you can expect, as well as how harvesting it earlier can actually keep the bleaching away and out of your peas. Yes, uh, bleaching uh, with a green pea is uh, when the green pea starts uh, getting a yellow tinge to it. Uh, you're allowed about one-eighth of the kernel to turn yellow. Uh, beyond that one-eighth, it is called bleached. Um, bleaching uh, basically is a discount uh, to your pea price. Uh, you start out from zero to three percent without a discount. 3.1 to 5 percent is your first discount and then 5.1 to 10 percent is your second discount and basically 10.1 to 15 is your third discount. Anything over 15 percent uh, has to be sold into a specialty market um, but beyond that uh, anything under it uh, goes into the edible market. Mm -hmm. So what actually causes bleaching? It's uh, weathering uh, uh, rain conditions, basically you start with, uh, let's say your peas are sitting at 18. Uh, you're waiting for them to dry to 16, where they're considered dry by the Grain Commission. Once they get to that 16% uh, moisture, if it rains or whatever and goes up back above 18%, your peas will start to bleach. It drains the color from them, uh, of the moisture, because basically you're probably weakening the pea seed itself and that way it's allowing the pea seed to uh, change in color. Uh, the sunlight has a lot to uh, do with that uh, after the rain and stuff. Uh, we'll start them bleaching. So mm -hmm. what, what can actually be done to help prevent bleaching? Basically, uh, do not allow your pea to get down uh, below 18 moisture before you combine it. Uh, if you have a majority of your pea in the field uh, testing 18 moisture, uh, even if there's some wetter ones and stuff, you're better off to start your combining at that time and put it on aeration or mechanically dry it. And you said there's a discount with bleaching. Mm -hmm. How does that change from year to year? Uh, the discounts uh, so far um, haven't changed really that much in the last three years, but I would say that uh, probably volume of product would change that discount. If you had uh, very few that let's say were three to five percent bleached, the discount would normally stay at about ten dollars and no more. However, if a majority of your peas were sitting at that three to five percent, they would probably ask for a higher discount because you got lots of that. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Is there anything else you'd like to add about bleaching with peas? Um, basically, yeah, you've got to be confident that you have uh, the proper equipment in your uh, yards and stuff like that, be in aeration and uh, dryers, mechanical dryers and stuff. Don't ever let your peas go dry in the field and you, you'll preserve the belief. <laughs>